What's up guys, Yanni from 801 Garage here. And today we're gonna go through how to install the Honda Hack. Okay, now I've seen a few videos that have um, how to install that or a few videos on how to get the browser back. Um, because for those of you that don't know, the models from 16 and 17 had the browser loaded into the head unit. Um, but in 2018, they for some reason hit it away. So we're gonna go from start to finish today. I'm gonna show those of you that have the 18 how to get the browser back. Um, and then from there how to install the Honda Hack. Um, we're going to be doing it the easier way for just um, loading it into the browser. Um, there's a much longer, different way that you can do with the laptop that I'm not going to do. <coughs> um, but so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Um, before you do this, the one thing that you do have to do, and I'll post the link down below, um, you do have to buy the code on how to do this. You can either do the basic for five dollars, um, or you can do the more expensive pro version. Um, the pro ver version does all kinds of things. Um, like you can, it'll automatically hit OK on that first message that you turn on the car with, um, or also you can start up a certain app automatically with it. <coughs> so for, for those of you that want to use TunerView with this, um, you can have it automatically start up on TunerView if you want. Uh, so it's up to you which one you guys want to get. I just got the basic one because um, I'm okay with just having to click a few extra times to get to what I need. Um, but we'll go through it. I'll show you guys how to install apps from the store and everything. Um, that way you can get Netflix, Waze, uh, Spotify, whatever you want on here. Um, so we'll, we'll get started. Okay, so first what we're going to do is you have to hold three different buttons down at the same time. Uh, the menu, the audio power, and then the brightness button up at the top. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that. So menu, audio, brightness. Hold it for a few seconds and you'll get this screen with two different options. Um, I know you can't read on there what it says, but that's fine. So all you'll do is click the bottom one, and then what you're going to do is hold the menu button for 10 seconds. Or less, <laughs> whenever this comes up. And now we're going to scroll down, click on special function settings, and then you're going to click the bottom one. I don't know if I can get this to focus on there. Alright, so... All right, so next what we're gonna need to do is turn on our Wi-Fi um, on our head unit and then connect to our phone for a mobile hotspot. So we're gonna go into settings and then click on Bluetooth Wi-Fi. And then just scroll over to Wi-Fi. And here where it says Wi-Fi on off status, just click on there, next, and then just click the on. Okay, just click yes. And now your Wi-Fi is turned on for your car. So now what you need to do is go to Wi-Fi device list and search for your device on here. Mine's right here. I'm going to go ahead and add it. And then enter in my password. Alright guys, so now um, that we've got, we're connected to Wi-Fi, it'll show you up here, the little Wi-Fi symbol and everything. Um, so now what we're going to do is you can either um, push this little button right here to access all your apps um, or I just added it to my home screen. So you can just click on your browser. See I'm on Google right now. Uh, what we need to do is go to autohack.org forward slash root. So I'm going to do that real quick. So autohack... autohack.org forward slash root all right and it'll bring us to this website here you'll see it says autohack uh, remote root and the supported models are civic and crv so now this real green arrow you just click on that and then it's going to prompt you to enter in your <clears throat> um, code that you get. Now, this is the authorization code that you buy um, from the person. Like I said, you know how it's five bucks for the normal one, or for the pro, it's a little bit more expensive. <clears throat> so if you guys try to enter in the one that I'm going to enter right now, it's not going to work because they're vehicle specific. Um, so if I enter in one, then it's gone. So mine is going to be six four one 
five seven six five <clears throat> eight four one. Let me double check that real quick. Okay, so then we hit done. Okay. All right, now this is the part that says uh, processing. Do not close your browser. Um, in the email, it does say that this part can take five to ten minutes to load through. Um, so I'm going to let it just load, do its thing, and then I'll come back for you guys when it's back. Okay guys, so now we are done with the install. Um, so now we get this message for information that says, please long press your audio button for five seconds. So that's what we're going to do, because that's going to uh, reboot. So we're going to hold the audio button up here. And then we'll get a message, do you want to reboot? We'll hit yes. And that should reset our head unit. Okay guys, so now we're back. Um, so now it's restarted, everything is good to go. So now what we're gonna do is click this app button here. Um, and now we have two new sections. We have Honda Hack and Honda Installer. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is click on Honda Hack. And here we have our um, different options that we can use for this, right? So the top one says install and uninstall apps, uh, steering wheel controls and key remapping, um, bypass parking brake. So that one basically lets you use apps without the parking brake up. Um, and then we've got a few others down here. Uh, startup settings. These are all for the pro version that I uh, mentioned before. So you see it says pro next to it. All of these ones you can't really um, get into unless you buy the pro version. Okay, right here you can upgrade to Pro, and then all that jazz. Now, what we're really into is install and uninstall apps, okay? There's two things that are gonna be uh, going on here that we're really gonna focus on. Install apps online, which gives you a few um, that they have just ready to be played uh, and installed, or um, you can click back and install apps from local disks. That's if you have your own um, already downloaded APKs that you wanna download on here. Um, I'll go ahead and put a link in the description on where you can um, get those. But for right now, you can just click on the install apps online and check out the ones that they have on here. All you need to do is click install to whatever one you want um, and then it is yours to go with. So <clears throat> you can do Netflix. Um, I'm just gonna do Spotify real quick. <coughs> And then as soon as it comes back, I'll show you guys. All right, guys. So now as you can see um, in here, um, in my apps list, now I have Spotify on here. As well as I just moved it out to my front screen. So I have Spotify right there. So if I click on it, now I've got the actual app where it prompts me to log in and whatnot. And you can do this with any of those apps that I showed you, right? So let's go back into... The installer, Honda Hack, and you, I'm gonna do this with. You can do it with Netflix and everything. Just if you're gonna do any of these apps like Netflix, where you want to be able to watch. And again, I'm not condoning watching this while you're driving, but if you are gonna do that, just make sure that you go back into these settings um, and do the bypassing the parking brake. Um, that way, you don't have to worry about that, and you can you're able to do that. Okay, guys, if you have any questions, please hit me up in the comments down below. Once more, this is Yanni from 801 Garage. I really appreciate all you guys watching the video. Um, I do apologize for the crappy quality at the beginning of the video with my other camera. Um, I didn't think to switch to this one until later on. Um, just still follow directions of everything that I said. <coughs> it's okay that you can't read all the stuff that was on the, um, on the screen because it'll be in the exact same position on your side. But if you run into anything, just let me know in the comments down below. I'm pretty good at responding right away no matter where I'm at into the comments. Um, so let me know, guys. Thank you so much for all your support, and I'll see you guys in the next video.